The two-step truck wash uses heat pressure, an acidic cleaner, and an alkaline cleaner and a chemical reaction to quickly wash trucks without fatiguing and time-consuming brushing. This process is especially useful for high-volume washing where labor is the most expensive part of the washing process. Here are some of the science as to why it works. There are actually five cleaning actions taking place that result in effective touch-free wash. An acidic cleaner, like our 1B, with a pH lower than 7, will clean inorganic soils, like sand, dirt, corrosion, and many other soils that are not water-soluble. An alkaline detergent, like our number 2 truck wash, with a pH higher than 7, will act to remove organic stains, like oils and grease. Heat works to lower the surface tension of the water, and it reduces the viscosity of oils and grease, making it easier to rinse away. The hot water uses less detergent, less mechanical action, and less time. Heat saves fuel, chemical, water, and labor. The chemical reaction between the acid and the base creates a heat energy that promotes a vigorous reaction. That reaction forms a molecular friction before the reaction is over. The combined chemicals will expand and expel from the surface, taking soils with it. The runoff from the chemical reaction is biodegradable with a near-neutral pH. The mechanical action or impact force from the pressure washer forces the detergents into the soils and flushes them away from the surface. Now let's take a look at the equipment and the products we need to perform a two-step wash. Here we're using a Landa PGHW hot water pressure washer mounted to a catamount trailer for mobility. We'll be carrying everything we need on the trailer including our water supply for mobile applications. We have two 35 gallon chemical tanks mounted to the trailer, one for our 1B acidic cleaner and another tank for our number 2 transport wash, our alkaline cleaner. Our 1B will be diluted and applied with a low pressure or downstream chemical injector. The number 2 transport wash will be applied with a high pressure or upstream chemical injector. The number 2 will run through the pressure washer pump, while the 1B will only run through the hose and the wand. We will use a longer wand to reach the top of the trucks with a rollover nozzle. The rollover nozzle lets us go from low pressure chemical application to a high pressure winch by twisting it over. Let's watch the process. Some operators prefer to start by spraying the fronts of the trucks with degreaser like Cougar's 152 Super Degreaser to soften up the bugs. The solution is usually mixed at a 4 to 1 ratio and is applied with a pump up sprayer. Starting the pressure washer using cold water, we'll apply acid with low pressure, turning the acid injector up to near its minimum chemical flow. We only need a little chemical to be applied. Our 1B is safer for glass and windows, but some acids can cause severe damage to windows, mirrors, and bright work, so take care and know your chemical. We apply the acid quickly, going from the bottom up. We recommend doing one side of the truck at a time. It's important to move quick enough so the chemical does not dry in the truck. As you near the end of your chemical application, you want to turn on the high pressure injector and turn on the heat so that when you are done applying the acid, the heat in the transpo wash will be there ready for you to come out of the wand. Turn the rollover nozzle to the high pressure and wash the truck. You'll see the chemical reaction and the pressure do all the work. As you get close to finishing, turn off the high pressure detergent valve so as you finish you'll have clean water coming out for the final rinse. We rinse going from the top down to avoid streaking. Aim to complete a truck in 15 minutes or less. You should expect to use less than a half a gallon of acid and less than a half a gallon of truck wash per truck. Your water consumption should be under 35 gallons per truck. So if you got a lot of trucks to wash and not a lot of time to wash them in, the two-step might be the way to go.